Hey guys, I'm Sarah, and today me and my assistant Samantha, who's here somewhere, there she is, <laughs> she wanted a dramatic entrance. We're going to make brioche bread rolls. Now, this is something that Sam and my husband Clint have been playing with, but Clint did not want to front the video for reasons. These are like really, really good for burger buns. I do have a recipe for burger buns, which I will link down below. However, the burger buns I make, they're, they're a lot, they're very, very filling. These are not quite as filling. They're a bit lighter. They're a bit sort of, they're sweeter, aren't they? One cup of warm water. Stir in two teaspoons of sugar until they dissolve. Ten grams of bread maker's yeast. Because like that's a dessert spoon. spoon, so a tablespoon is slightly bigger. So that's about a tablespoon of yeast. And then you, you stir it. And then we need to let that sit for 15 minutes. Yeah. While that's sitting, should we put the dry ingredients in today? Normally it should fall when it's done sitting. Three and a half cups of flour. Another two tablespoons of sugar into that mix. I'd say that's the uh, that's probably the sugar you want to cut back on if you're going to cut back on the sugar. Because the other stuff is helping feed the yeast. Do like what, one and a little bit. Yeah, but one and one and a bit. I reckon. I reckon that'll be plenty. Two teaspoons of salt. And mix the dry ingredients together. While that is mixing, we're going to put the eggs in there one at a time. I can't Captain Hook. Oh, you. <laughs> right, and then we want to add the wet ingredients. Shall I just show the people? Oh, there we go, that Actually, started dropping a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, it's doing its thing. Quarter of a cup oh, yeah. of butter now. It needs to be cold. Yes, it needs to be cold from the fridge. With the many experiments we've done, <laughs> we have found it is best to put it in a teaspoon at a time. So don't put it in as one big lump. Just put it in a yeah. teaspoon at a time while the dough is mixing. You need to leave that mixing for about 10 minutes. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit sloppy to handle, so... A little bit of flour. A bit more flour. Should we just add that in while it's mixing? Yeah. That's probably best. Right, shall I do that? Yeah. <laughs> just add enough so it's not sloppy sloppy. I mean, it's meant to be slightly stickyish. We need to oil this, don't we? Yeah. We're just lightly oiling the bowl that's going to be sitting in. And then, plonk it in there and leave it for about an hour and a half. Cover that up and we'll leave that for about an hour and a half for it to rise. Voila! Voila! Looks like some kind of creamy pudding. Yeah, it should come out. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Like we separate them in separate portions. Ah, so, oh, just so yeah. that. Uh, yeah. Is it okay that it's still sticky like that? Yeah, oh yeah. We don't have to put a bit but that's out. normal. How many are we doing? I think we did eight, didn't we, last time? Yeah. So can I do that? No. Is this just like? Um... Voila. Oh, look at that. So you just sort of put your hand over it like that. Yeah, and, and just... you press down a little bit and just roll it around. Mmm. That's a bit fancy. Or easy. Look at that. I never thought that would work. Grandad showed me it. Oh, did he? Yeah. Ah. Figured I'd give it a go. There we go. Go on, your granddad. You taught her something. <laughs> Finally. Something good. <laughs> did, 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 we got that on camera, didn't we? Yeah. 
here, a tea towel over, and then we leave them for about another half an hour. What I'm going to do now, before I put the oven, I'm just going to put an egg wash on. So just one egg, just sort of a teaspoon of water. This just gives it a really nice sort of glossy top on it. I'm doing this without Sam, but with her permission. So <laughs> she's very busy and important, apparently. Just hope I'm doing this correctly without supervision. If I come out wrong, this is totally on her. Now I've got the oven preheating to 180 degrees. And I'm going to put these, I'm going to bake these for about 20 minutes once that has preheated. There we go, into the oven we go. Left over a bit of egg wash there. I'm just gonna pop that in the microwave, scramble it up and put it in my husband's sandwich for work tomorrow. <laughs> Most of these are actually going in lunch boxes tomorrow, but I'm going to chop up one for taste testing now. Chip chop. Okay, I'll try. Oh, that's yummy. That is shiny. Shiny. That is awesome. Good. Awesome, like, I'm and it's sweet. They make soft. good burgers. They do make good burgers. Mm. Mm. That soft. is soft. They are beautiful. That is yummy. Make these and listen to their Bowie. Apparently you have to listen to David oh, Bowie, yeah. but uh, <laughs> I can tell you, yes Clint's wearing a Stormtrooper onesie and he just stole the bit out of the oven. We did experiments with freezing these, consensus was they, I mean you can freeze them, but they're a little bit drier when you defrost them. Um, toast them makes them good. Yeah, I was about to say, toast, just lightly toast them just under the grill in the oven, and they are still beautiful. It's slightly less sweet it's good. than and last it's time. Edible. It's good, so and it's good, it's edible. Yeah. There we go. You guys can pick one each for your lunch boxes if you want. Yes. Hit like. <laughs> Don't fall on the kitchen floor. We're Leave a comment, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> and survive the chaos. All right, catch you next week, bye. <laughs>